So let's supplement a network that has some size to it. So we'll start with. Start with our typical 192.168.10.0 slash 24. And so this means that we have 24 network bits, and we can imply that we have eight host bits left over. And so if somebody asks us to create a network, and so on, then we have to determine how we're going to use what we have to fulfill these requests. If all we had was this network space, there's no way that we could, we could complete most of this. For example, we could do 16 and 2, but we don't have enough space in our network, in our addressing width, to accommodate 1,000, 500, or 600. And so we would have to ask, can I just continue on? until I fulfill the request. So we'll assume the answer is yes, that we can use whatever's needed to fulfill the request of 1,000 and so on. And so again, we start with our largest requirement, which is 1,000 hosts. And next, we have to determine how many host bits are required to fulfill that request. And so using our binary, we could say that 2 raised to the 10th power is 1,024. That gives us 1,024 total addresses 1,022 usable addresses, but that means that we're going to need to accommodate for 10 host bits, 10 host bits. So now we're going to have to change our subnet mask and use variable length subnet masking throughout all of this to accommodate these requests. And so let's figure that out. If we need 10 host bits, that means that we're going to start with 192, 168, 10.0 through and now how are we going to figure out what we need, what our beginning and then ending network is and what our subnet mask is. Well, we start with 10 host bits, and we know that we have a total of 32 bits minus 10 host bits, leaves us with 22 network bits, total host and then network bits. In other words, we finish with a slash 22. For the slash 22, we have 8 plus 8 plus 6 and plus 0. 8 bits in the first octet all turned on, 8 bits in the second bit all turned on, 6 in the third, and then none in the last octet as all of those and then the two bits in the third octet represent post bits. And so now we construct our subnet mask which is dot. 252.0. Now we can shortcut at this point. And you'll remember that if you find the octet starting from the left, that's not 255 or 0, and we're at 256 above it, and then subtract, we could say that for every change of 4 in the third octet of our given IP address range represents the start of a new subnet. And so then our next subnet begins at. And we said it's every change of 4 in the third octet, so 14.0, the start of our next subnet, which means that the end is 192.168.13.255. And so if we were to use a slash 22 for that network, then all of this range would be used to fulfill the request for 1,000 hosts. And then continuing on, so I'll erase some of this. And then we'll note that this is a slash 22. Next, we had a request for 600 hosts, 600. And so if we start looking at our binary numbers, right, 2 to the 9, is 512 addresses, 510 usable. And so we can't use just nine host bits. Again, we need 10 host bits, right, to fulfill this request. So we're going to have a lot of unused addresses in this range, but it's all we can do. And so I could quickly, based on what I did previously, 
say that the net subnet starts at and therefore this subnet runs through 192.168.17.255 and this also is a slash 22. And you might recall that slash 22 is 255.255.252.0. So they're the same. But notice that each of these subnets is separate from the other. So I'll change colors. And so now we have a request for 500 hosts. And so to fulfill that request, we again have to figure out how many host bits we need. Well, we just said that 2 to the ninth power is equal to 512. And we only need 500. This will give us 510 usable addresses. And this tells us that we need 9 host bits to fulfill the request. And so then, 32 <coughs> minus 9 is 23. And again, this is total bits, host bits, and network bits. So then for this address range, to satisfy the need for 500 hosts, we have to have a slash 23. And a slash 23 is 8 and 8 and 16 plus 7 dot 0. And so this subnet mask written out, a slash 23, would be 255, 255, 254.0. And so then using our math, again, we find the octet that is not 255 or 0, and then replace 256 above it, and subtract. And therefore, for every change of 2 in the third octet, we have the start of a new subnet. And so, we could look easily at 20.0 as the start of our next subnet. And therefore, this subnet with a slash 23 runs all the way through 192.168.19.255. And now that's a slash 23. And the beginning of our next subnet is 192.168.20.0. And so looking at our list, we have a request for 16 addresses. This one's tricky. Okay. Because we need 16 usable addresses. And so in your mind, you say to yourself, well, if I choose four host bits, that gives me 16. But we can't use this because that, while this gives us 16 total addresses, only 14 are usable. And so therefore, we can't use 2 to the 4th power. We have to use 2 to the 5th power. That gives us 32 total addresses, whereas 30 are usable. And so with 5 host bits, 32 minus 5 is equal to 27. So that makes it a slash 27. A slash 27 is 8.8.8.3, right? 8 bits, 8 bits, 8 bits plus 3 bits. And we don't need to write that out, all of it. We can say it's 255.255.255.224. And so, with this in mind, in this last octet, we can do our math again and write 256 above that number and subtract, and we get, as we expected, 32. So, for every change of 32 in the last octet, in the fourth octet, that represents where we have the start of a new subnet. And so, that means that our next subnet is going to start at 192.168.20.32. And the previous subnet runs all the way through 192. Dot 168.20.31. And again, this is a slash 27. Lastly, we had a request for a point to point connection for our routers. And so, since we only have two addresses needed, we know we need a total of four. So we have to have a network and a broadcast address. So let's erase. If we have to have a total of four addresses, we could look at it like 2 to the n is going to equal the number of addresses we need. In this case, it's 4. And if we solve for n, which isn't very difficult in this case, we see that n is equal to 2. 
So we need two host bits. 